In the face of rising challenges of COVID-19 and leadership, it is crucial that leaders show accountability and strength of character in their responses to issues and prof prompt profitable actions. Plus TV Africa caught up with Professor Wale Shoinkar in an earlier interview and he suggests collaborations and structured thinking would amount to positive results while also asserting that results can be achieved even in the lockdown. This is a global affliction. You know, you must come together, work together, see how, whether we're talking about masks, we're talking about hand sanitizers, we're talking about miracle germ killers, whatever. It's a global issue. And so this is one of the kind of leadership we should not emulate. On the other hand, uh, I've said in a different context, I pointed to the experiment which has been done in Sweden, which is doing things a bit differently. And why am I attracted to that experiment? Let me tell you a little bit about what was happening to me before I came into self-quarantine. Uh, yes to make sure that I don't infect people if I brought it back with me. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go to Ghana. I had a, a lecture there, yeah, which is uh, almost, which involved in the government, the, um, the Foreign Affairs Institute and so on, with the government back in, it's a very important lecture. And I was supposed to stop there, <coughs> give that lecture before coming into Nigeria. Of course, they also decided to cancel at the last moment. In fact, I ended up landing in Abuja since I couldn't find a flight into Lagos, into Abuja and came to Lagos. That's one. Two, are two events in Nigeria following immediately. One was the launch of my book, Beyond Aesthetics, and uh, the other, The World Poetry Day, which a lot of work had gone into. Now, left to me, personally, Walushenka, none of those three events will be canceled. I believe that there's a way in which you could have that kind of lecture, obeying the COVID protocols, you'd reduce drastically, of course, the number of people will be there normally. You use technology, you know, so that the event is not lost. Mm -hmm. It's not the event itself. It's a question of you, you give people confidence, hope, that humanity can control even epidemics like this that within the epidemic, life goes on. And the same thing applies to the World Poetry Day, thing in which I was centrally involved, and the launching. We could still, in my view, have held those uh, events. But the moment the supporting bank you know, uh, said, we think we should cancel, I said, fine. The moment um, um, my publisher and the others said, well, the World Poetry Day has also been canceled, let's cancel this one. I didn't agitate. If they had not been my events, I probably would have picked one and said, I will stage it myself, maybe even just in these premises. Mm -hmm. Because there's a way in which you can defy without undue risk. Yeah. And we're all gamblers, we're all of this. Everything we're doing is a gamble, but within limits. There are ways in which you can assert, you can, you can make people fight you know, fight any kind of affliction, any kind of incursion, you know. And this one, my view, my model, my instinct, my temperament goes towards the Swedish model, okay. in which you don't cancel everything. You lock down, or you don't totally lock down, you know. There are events, schoolrooms, for instance, yes, you're moving, you use technology, so there's virtual teaching, and so on and so forth. But you still have events, events which can be organized along the dictates of Mr. COVID. I'm not denying its, <laughs> its supremacy or anything of this sort. Oh but one doesn't lie down and 